So the key finding is that the school readiness gap, the, the gap in uh, school readiness between children from high income and low income families has declined significantly over the last uh, dozen years or so. The school readiness gap by race has also declined. So the black white and the Hispanic white gap have also gotten narrow over that same time period. The gap narrowed by about 10 to 15 percent between high and low income children and about by the same amount between white and Hispanic children. Between white and black children, it looks like the gap narrowed, but our measures aren't quite precise enough to be sure about that. So the really surprising thing here is that the gap narrowed when in earlier research we found that this similar gap had been widening for the, for the past few decades. And it's even more surprising that it narrowed because things like income inequality, segregation by income, have all been widening over the same time period. So we thought when we started this research that we would see these school readiness gaps continue to widen in the same way that inequality has widened. But in fact, the opposite has happened. Well, I, I think there are some lessons in this research and some other research that I've been doing with Daphne Bassock and Jane Waldfogel that, that suggests that um, a focus on early childhood and opportunities to learn and develop in early childhood is really important for making sure that children get to school on, with a kind of even footing. And so that means not just investing in, in high quality preschool, but also making sure that, that families have the opportunity and the knowledge and the information they need to be able to kind of uh, read a lot to their kids, uh, provide cognitively stimulating activities for them, and, and help get them ready uh, to go to kindergarten.